Welcome to understandITnow.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, configure a group policy to automatically lock domain workstations uh, screensavers. So when they step away for a period of time uh, the computer system will automatically lock. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up Active Directory Users and Computers. Okay, and we're going to find the domain, and in this case I created a domain called Widget Corp. I'm going to right click on it and go to Properties. Then select the Group Policy. Next, I'm going to click on the Set Default Domain Policy and I'll click on Edit. Okay, now once we have the Group Policy Object Editor open, we're going to go ahead and navigate underneath the User Configuration, then Admin Templates, then control panel and then display. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the screensaver. So right here you can see it's not configured. I'm going to go ahead, I double clicked on that and I click on enable, then apply and OK. Then the next thing I'm going to do is click on the password protect the screensaver. So we'll click on this one and I'll enable that as well. So and what we've done so far is we've told the uh, group policy to go ahead and use the screensaver, then password protect the screensaver. Now next we have to give it a, a timeout. So what we'll do is we'll double click on screensaver timeout. We'll enable it and by default it is uh, 900 seconds which I believe is 15 minutes. So I'm going to change that down to um, 5 seconds just so we can test it and I can show you how it works. And I'm going to go ahead and click Apply and then OK. And then once those three are uh, s configured, I'm going to go ahead and just close the group, group policy uh, object editor and click OK. Next, I'm going to click on Start. And uh, you can go to Run, open up the command prompt. OK, I'm going to go ahead and update the group policy by typing in GP update space force. Now it's refreshing the policy. Okay, now the policy has been configured. Now we can sit here. Oh, you can see the five seconds already uh, kicked in. And uh, I'm going to wait a couple more seconds here. And when I move the mouse, it should be password protected. And as you can see, it's password protected. Now to log back in, I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And that's it. So this is an excellent way if you want to uh, force client workstations to go ahead and automatically uh, lock the, the wor workstation if the user uh, has a specified time of uh, inactivity. This is good for uh, protecting emails and uh, looking at people's files. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please visit understandITnow.com for additional videos in Windows 2008 Server and other miscellaneous IT products. Would you like to see the most up-to-date IT training videos? I post them on my free membership site at understanditnow.com. If you're not a member, just sign up on the website sidebar with your name and email address. You will then have access to numerous free IT training videos and various tips. Did I mention it's all free? There are a limited number of free memberships available, so don't miss out. What are you waiting for? Go to understanditnow.com free right now.